What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Marquinhos, Team of the Season. Honestly, we used his 88 red since Team of the Season started and he's only just come out and he is incredible. If you're tired of... If you're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day, make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day. He's coming in now at just shy of, what, eight? Well, just over 800,000 coins already. Max price at 2 mil. He more than likely will drop down a little bit more as he's got a team of the year that's coming in at 520. So I would be expecting him to be about there. I would love this guy as a red pick. He is a very, very good center back. Him and Kim Pembe started the game and absolutely destroyed loads and loads of teams for me. We got his red and we used that for many, many months. So if I could get his 95 as red, I'd be more than happy. He is 91 pace, 97 defending with the 91 physical. He is a six foot medium high work rate, leadership, power header and team player. And obviously the stats don't lie for him. In terms of what you're looking at is an anchor would be the best kind of scenario. 96 pace, 99 defending and 97 physical takes him to a 98 overall center back. A very, very top tier player right now. We have got Red Virgil and Varane flashback at the moment. If we manage to get him red or in the team, Varan will be coming out and Red Virgil and hopefully a Red Marquinhos would be taking his place. But this guy is an incredible centre-back. Very technical, great pace, great defending. And let's just show what he can do. He's watching that through ball if he can. He knows he wants it. He's going to go out wide, maybe try down the middle. Marquinhos steps in and steps in again. And that just shows exactly what this card can do. Cross, good tackle, deals with it and gets the pass out. Marquinhos, oh, that is stunning. Last ditch challenge. I think we probably would have got him uh, kind of going outside of the box there, but still manages to make it there. Just watching himself. Good thing to have with Marquinhos is definitely another centre-back of the same quality because you do get the best out of him. I found that using like a Kimpembe or Varane, they, they kind of just, they made it so much easier because you can always have a second option. And that's very unlucky. I dragged him out of his position. Otherwise, he would have been there. Good interception from Marquinhos. Can we get a little bit of a pass on him? Nothing too technical. Marquinhos looking for that diagonal ball. It's a, it's a, little, it's a, little, a little touch and pass there over the top. Oh, good block. Good tackle from Marquinhos again. Marquinhos, stop it. Marquinhos, this is all down to him. Stunning. Stunning. Stop Ronaldo where you need him. And again, every single day, he has got that let go. Ah, oh, that's poor. That's poor from myself. Going into the overall then for Marquinhos. Coming in at 7-3-5 now. Dropping very, very quick, which is... Weird to see, to be honest. I really didn't think he would drop this heavily this quickly, but he has got a team of the year already, and the centre-backs are absolutely stacked right now. We have got so many top-end centre-backs that I think it literally just matters of who you've got red, who you've got packed, because you've got Militao, who could link, I suppose, with Marquinhos. You've obviously got a Maldini SBC. I think that was his... Was it his moment? I think it is his moments. You've got a Virgil. You've got a Diaz twice. You've obviously got Laporte, Alaba. You keep going down to Coyunde. There is a lot of... Fantastic Fantastic players to get in on this. And honestly, well, in fact, you've even got Varane as well as another SBC. So it's going to be an interesting one to see who you've actually already got. And that's probably another contrib uh, contributing fact to why he's so low at the moment. But that being said, he is still fantastic. The pace element of him is great. Defending physical is absolutely outstanding. You want to get that anchor on him because it turns him into a 98.3 overall. And he is definitely worth every penny. I wouldn't look to him until he's kind of near his team of the year price. But let me know down below if you've got him in a team of the year or even in your... I don't know, even in a pack right now. Because I think a lot of people are getting very lucky already with this league gun.